breaking news. A dramatic rescue on a South Shore beach. Good Samaritans pull a boy from the water at Green Harbor, and that 12-year-old is now hospitalized. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lisa Hughes. I'm Liam Martin. WBZ's Jim Smith is live tonight in Marshfield, where there is still a big police presence there. Jim? And Liam and Lisa, as you might expect, it was a very frantic afternoon here in Marshfield. Let me get out of the way and show you the waters of Green Harbor. We're just an hour or so after high tide. The rescuers today included a number of on-duty and off-duty first responders, including a former high-ranking state police officer. In fact, the very highest-ranked retired commander, Marion McGovern. Just as they were pulling him out of the water, um, we, we didn't know what had happened, but it was really evident that he needed help right away. So uh, there was a young girl doing CPR on him, and um, when she got tired, I took over. Uh, there was another person after me, and then it followed up by a young man until the medics arrived. The waters here at Green Harbor were calm all day long, so it's not believed rough surf played any role here. In fact, local people say the boy seemed fine when suddenly he appeared to have a medical emergency of some sort. That has not been confirmed yet, but one man who lives right on the beach says his daughter-in-law was one of the first to spot trouble. And she said, call 911, there's an emergency on the beach. So I went to our front deck and there appeared to be a young man surrounded by eight or ten people and they were performing CPR on him. And there was a lot of anxiety and emotion involved and things like that. So my wife called 911, and there was a very aggressive response from the Marshfield Police Department. Everybody here in Marshfield obviously pulling for this 12-year-old boy. He is from Marshfield, and the latest we have is he was transferred to Children's Hospital in Boston, listed in critical but stable condition. Live here at Green Harbor, Jim Smith, WBZ News.